This package arrived just a few days ago, and I think I have a pretty good idea about what it contains. So let's take a look inside. Big Amazon pouch. Ah, there you go. It is in plastic. I'm going to have to get these out. This is a five pack. There's green apple. There's watermelon. There is classic red. Huckleberry. And last but not least, blueberry pomegranate. So, what, what are these? These are from the company uh, Wiley Wallaby. This is the flavor that I've had the most of. I've also previously once had green apple. And my there's a little bit of a story here why we actually got these. So I like red licorice among other kinds of candy and licorice. And my mother-in-law had purchased some of these and sent two packages like this along to me. Um, they, they live just, you know, right, literally right down the road from us. And my wife came in and said, here, try these uh, licorice that my mom thinks is really great and uh, you might like as well. And um, they do live up to the really delicious on the package. It's a different kind of licorice. Um, if you're used to something like Twizzlers, or, you know, a little bit drier in some respects, chewier, more candy-like licorice, these are a real treat. They're, they're thick, they're moist inside, they have an incredible amount of flavor, it's, they're, they're not sugary the way other licorices are. And, you know, you got to kind of ration these out if you're somebody like me, otherwise you would eat the whole bag at once. I really like to have these with, you know, as I'm watching a, a show or something with a big bowl of popcorn with butter and salt. And then these, every once in a while, I, I, when, I, when I bite into one of these, you usually take a little bite, chew that, have a little bit more. So each one of these little links here is, you know, it, you don't just pop it in your mouth and chew it like a big wad of gum or something like that. You savor it. And, you know, they cost a little bit more than, than other licorice, but I think that they're, there's really no comparison between this and other red licorice. I really did like the green apple when I had it. And we saw these online that there were these other flavors we hadn't tried. So each of them sounded pretty good. You know, watermelon, it's kind of an interesting taste for licorice. Um, huckleberry, I think I've only had that maybe once or twice in my life in the past. And then blueberry pomegranate, we thought, oh, we'll, we'll give these a shot. So I'm actually going to do a little taste test of each of these so I can tell you about them myself personally in just a moment as I open these up. But I'm, you know, I'm not going to be a, I'm not going to eat all of them. I'm just going to have one of each. And that's really my Wiley Wallaby ration for the day. All right, so let, let's start out with watermelon. It says watermelon flavored licorice, the perfect taste of summer. And open it up. Now, usually when you open these bags of Wiley Wallaby, oh, there's a very nice smell. This one's a little bit more, you could say, taffy-like, but so there, there's what they look like. Same kind of consistency as the other ones. Definitely a watermelon taste to it, but it's not a like punch you in the face the way their more cherry-like one is. And it's, it's a bit more faint, but it's definitely all there. This is pretty good. <laughs> so this, is, this one's definitely a hit for me. 
All right, I cleansed my palate and I've already opened this one up. Blueberry pomegranate, two tastes that you see paired together in a lot of different products these days. And that's got a good, that's got a good smell to it as well. There is definitely like a blueberry, almost a dry blueberry smell like you get in granola when you're you know, buying granola that has a lot of blueberry, dried blueberries, usually lowland, low bush blueberries mixed in with it. So this one says, where tangy meets tart meets sweet. So uh, that should be kind of interesting. Three different flavor profiles mixed together. Let's give it a shot. Definitely pomegranate sort of undertone in there. Definitely blueberry and a bit more assertive flavor, I think you can say, than the previous watermelon one. Not quite as um, delicate. It actually has a pretty good aftertaste as well. So that one's a hit too. Now we get to the one that for me is kind of an X factor. As I've mentioned, I've had huckleberry in the past, but I couldn't tell you for the life of me what it actually tastes like because it's been so long. This one is labeled as delicious, juicy, and oh so wild. So let's see if it lives up to that reputation. Mm, okay, that's, that's an interesting odor. What does that remind me of? And look, the, the links are a little bit smaller as well. Oh no, there's some, that must be just like, I, I picked a little one by mistake. There's, there's a full size one right there. What is that? I mean, I guess that must be huckleberries. I don't, I don't actually, I'm having trouble matching that odor. Well, I'll try That one's not as strong. It's more like the watermelon. Oh, it's got some real sweetness to it, though. Um, not, a, not a sugary sweetness, but like a fruity sweetness. So that's pretty good. It's kind of like if you had black raspberry and blueberry combined together in a way. I think it would taste sort of like this. Um, so that, that, that one's a hit as well. This flavor I already know that I like, the, the green apple. I like other green apple things, and the Wiley Wallaby green apple is particularly good the one time that I had it. Oh, you can even, wow, that one you can smell from here compared to the other ones, and it's definitely got a tart green apple scent to it. It says fresh from the orchard flavor. <laughs> so now does it, does it really taste like a, a green apple? I mean... It's, it's not as tart as what we'd expect with a lot of green apple stuff. There's a lot of sweetness there. And it's, it's definitely got a, you know, imagine if you took a, a really sour green apple and took that tartness and sourness and bite out of it. This is what you would have. I really like it. And so, you know, it's a hit with me. Last but not least, of course, we have the classic red, which is, um, I mean, they, they say it's strawberry, but I think there's also a bit of cherry taste to it myself. Um, a delicious twist of fruit chewy goodness. This is a little bit darker too. You notice the, when you look at it right there than the other ones. And I love it. I mean, this is the one that got me interested in this brand. It's definitely soft and chewy. I will say that some other things that are nice about this, you know, no high fructose corn syrup. They list themselves as fat-free and, and vegan, which I, I suppose, you know, is almost trivially, trivially true about these, but those are good as well. And so all five of these flavors, excellent. Um, you can get them, you know, in, in a lot of different varieties. We bought them in this five pack because we wanted to taste what the other flavors were like. And so that's... Uh, Pretty much all that I have to say about this, uh, this type of candy. I really enjoy it myself, and I think that you might as well. By comparison to other types of licorice out there, I think this is really head and shoulders above the rest.